quitting drinking alcohol. Is it really all that it's made out to be? Is it true that you can get your health back on track? Your relationships can start improving. You can start progressing faster in your business and your career. Or is it going to be a fight? Is it going to be difficult? Is it going to be challenging? And is it even worth it in the first place? Well, what I want to do for you in this video is I want to share a little bit of insight into being sober. I want to share why it's going to be the best decision that you've ever made in your life. But what I really want to do is I actually want to talk to you about some of the bad days. Because listen, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I always talk about the benefits. I always talk about how stopping drinking will improve every single area of your life, bar none. But I'm not saying that life won't happen to you. I'm not saying that you're going to have bad days. I am saying that your health can improve, your relationships can improve, your business can improve. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Leon Sylvester. I run a company called SoberClear, and we help business owners and professionals control their drinking using a mental model called first principles thinking. And Really, you know, we're get, getting some amazing results with this program. So what I really want to do for you in this video is I actually want to share something that's happened in my personal life. So I've, I've not drank for three years and I'm telling you, my life looks completely different. I mean, I'm living in this amazing place now. I'm living on an island. I'm living in Thailand and uh, I've gone from, you know, like destroying relationships, destroying a business, destroying my health, just literally being at ground zero to actually creating a great life for myself. And the reason why this happened is because I stopped drinking. But at the same time, right, I'm going to talk about the benefits because the comparison to what life was like three years ago to what it is today is just night and day. The contrast is amazing. But at the same time, life happens, right? I'm not saying that every day is perfect. I'm not saying that every single day I wake up and I want to get after it. You know, I wake up sometimes where I don't feel like getting after it. I wake up and I still feel not 100%. You know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. And I'm this machine. And really something happened recently. And uh, one, of my, one of my family members got quite poorly and it was actually, you know, almost a life-threatening condition. It was incredibly scary. Uh, and this was about, you know, it started about 10 days ago. And, uh, you know, this was one of the scariest things that's ever happened in my life. You know, I've been very blessed that, uh, you know, I have lost some family members, but the people that I'm closest to have never really gotten seriously ill or at least, you know, it, some of that stuff happened when I was very young. So to me, this was absolutely terrifying. It was one of the worst things that's happened to me in a long time. And I'm kind of sat processing this emotion, which is a very challenging emotion when somebody's poorly and, you know, I'm in another country, they're over in England and it's life-threatening and it was just terrifying. And this was a bad time, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that this was a great time, right? It's a tough time. It's just like a tough time. Everybody's struggling, you know, everybody's offering each other emotional support in my family and, you know, we're offering emotional support to the person that's poorly. And yeah, it just wasn't easy. Now, that's life, right? Life is going to happen to you whether you drink or you don't. That's a fact. Bad things happen, right? That's life. You know, people get poorly. You get poorly. Sometimes bad things can happen. And when this happened, it, it really inspired me to, to share this with you because like my life is kind of, since I've stopped drinking, right, it's gone in this, in this progression where it just keeps going up and up and up and up and up generally, right? If we look at the, the macro, that's how it goes. It goes up and up and up. But then sometimes life gets in the way. And basically for that week, like I didn't really make any videos. I, you know, might have not been messaging the, the people in the program as much as I usually do. And that week, things didn't progress as fast as they, they usually do, right? So kind of like my life has gone like this and then it kind of tapered off that week, right? And now the, 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 the family member has made a, well, she's almost made a full recovery. She's back at home now. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a massive relief. It's a burden off my shoulders. So basically my life went like this and it kind of like, you know, I took a week, I slowed down, I had to kind of like take some time for myself. And now, you know, it's slowly I'm picking the momentum up, I'm, I'm making this video, things are going back on track. Now, this is the point. This is the point of the video is when you don't drink, right? What happens is life goes like this, right? And then let's say something bad happens, right? And progress slows down, totally normal. Then it will pick back up again. Whereas back when I was drinking, life was more like this. Maybe, maybe at that point in my life, I was having a good time. The bad thing happens, boom, I go and get drunk. I put myself five days behind, you know, I get, I go drinking for two days, I have two days of a hangover, the fifth day I start picking things back up, my emotions are all over the place, and see, this is the, the whole point, is when you drink, life doesn't go linear, it doesn't go in a, in a forward line, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, so the point of the video is, when you stop drinking, you get off the roller coaster, you get off the peaks and the troughs, I ain't saying that you don't have bad days, I'm not saying that there won't be times where you're like, this sucks, right? Because life is always going to happen to you. The difference is, is that when you don't drink, you're better equipped to deal with things like emotions, like situations, like certain people. You're much better equipped to deal with difficult things, you know? You can process these kind of emotions 
without turning to the bottle, without picking up the drink and saying, oh, F this, boom. Listen, when you don't drink, you get off the roller coaster of life. And what happens is, yeah, difficult things will happen. But then once you've got past it, because everything will, you'll get past everything at some point, once you've kind of got past it and, and you start picking up momentum again, you kind of start from where you left off, right? So you might have a bad week, a bad month, even a bad year. I'm not saying that, yeah, there's people out there that don't drink and their life's not got the speed, they've not got the speed, they've not got the momentum yet, and they might have had a bad year, but then after that year has passed and then things are getting better again, they can just get back on that upward trajectory because that's what it's all about. And that's, you know, kind of the philosophy that, that I buy into. It's understanding alcohol for what it is, right? It's not buying into the conditioning, buying into the marketing, buying into the illusion of alcohol being a good thing, right? It's really getting to grips on what it is and what it does for you and understanding it on a logical level, applying first principles thinking. And once you've kind of done that, then what it should all be about is moving forward, going upwards, starting to improve things. Listen, some people do need to go to the past. Some people need therapy. Some people need to look at trauma. I'm not saying that's not important, but what is the most important thing when it comes to stopping drinking is having that vision, having those things to go towards. And then, you know, going towards them as fast as you can, you know, it doesn't, you know, everybody's pace is going to be different, but it's going towards those things as fast as you can. And then accepting that not every day is going to be perfect. And it doesn't mean that you need to drink and knock all that progress back right? You don't need to drink if things are going bad. It's fine because you can just get through the day, get through the week, get through the difficult times and then pick things back up from where you left off. And that is why I wanted to make this video because, you know, three years ago, trust me, if this had happened, it just would have been an excuse. You know, it would have been, oh, I'm dealing with these difficult emotions. I don't know how to process them. But these days things are just completely different. And now I can pick things back up again. I can start making videos again. I can start writing emails again and start helping members of the program and, and really just get back to where things were before. So wherever you are on your journey, keep going. You are awesome. If you want more details on the SoberClear program, head over to SoberClear.com. Have a great day.